Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Trish Espina and a lot of you have been asking for more pasta recipes so here it is, okay? So this is actually a variation of carbonara, okay? So we're going to make carbonara today but with a twist, okay? Original carbonara is usually just uh, using pancetta. It's a kind of a bacon uh, that is popular in Italy but since it is expensive here in the Philippines, we're just going to use ordinary bacon, okay? So instead, uh, of just using bacon, we will also add uh, sausage and ham, okay? So that's why it's a little bit of a variation. But if you want to stick with the original and authentic carbonara, you can use the original pancetta. This pasta is so easy to make and it is one of my favorite because it is very, very simple, okay? For the ingredients, we're going to need 1 liter of heavy cream. So you can also use all-purpose cream here so if you're going to use all-purpose cream it's I think packed in 250 grams so you're you're going to need four pieces of all-purpose cream we're going to need five eggs one cup of parmesan cheese two tablespoon of chicken powder or you can just use salt and pepper to taste uh, or you can also use chicken bouillon cubes okay so two pieces of that and we're going to need uh, 300 grams or 350 grams of bacon, 350 grams of Hungarian sausage, and 250 grams of ham. Okay, so to start, we're going to just whisk the five eggs into our cream. Okay, and mix that well. Put our parmesan. So make sure that your yolks are beaten together and mixed evenly in this mixture. So I'm doing this while I'm he already heating my pan. Okay, so I'm going to put first my bacon. If you have a whole bacon, just slice them, not this finely, but I have uh, only bacon bits available here. So, it is better if you cut your bacon uh, larger, larger than this one. Slice your bacon, maybe around one inch. But you can also use bacon beef. So, if you notice, I don't even need to put uh, oil anymore. So, as I mentioned a while ago, we will just add the olive oil if, I, if this one dries up. So, but if the fat from the bacon is enough, I'm not going to put uh, olive oil anymore. So, while doing this, I'm already boiling my one half kilo of pasta. So, you can choose whatever pasta you want. Uh, I'm using spaghetti, but uh, it is better if you use linguine or fettuccine. Okay, so while we're waiting for the bacon to cook, again, make sure that you have mixed your egg well with your cream and your parmesan. So I don't want to brown my bacon. I just want them to be fully cooked. Okay, so I guess, I, I think this is good enough. So I'm going to add my sausage. And then I'm going to put our ham. Okay. 
Okay, so when your cold cuts are already done and cooked, okay? So I'm going to turn off the heat and wait for my pasta to cook, okay? And then I'm going to uh, turn on the heat again when I add everything together. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to overcook my cold cuts. And wait for my pasta to finish cooking this dish. Okay, so our pasta is done. So immediately after draining your pasta, without rinsing it in water, pour our pasta into our cooked cold cuts and also pour your sauce, okay? So I'm going to turn off first the heat because I don't want to uh, cook the eggs with too much heat from the pan. Okay. So our thickener here is not flour. The thickener that we will be using here is our eggs. Okay. So with the remaining heat of the pan and the heat coming from the pasta that's just uh, recently cooked. I'm going to mix it okay well so make sure that you cook your pasta al dente because this will further cook your pasta because we're going to heat this a little bit more okay so I'm going to turn it on but on low heat only Just enough to make our sauce hot, okay? Because I'm using cold chilled cream, okay? I forgot to take it out of the refrigerator a while ago. Okay, so while you're waiting for this to heat up, I'm going to add my 2 tablespoons of chicken powder. So I'm just going to heat this for just maybe a minute or two and then turn off the heat. So taste your pasta if the seasoning is right for you or if you find it too bland just adjust with maybe parmesan cheese or salt or chicken powder. Okay, so you will see that it starts to stick at the bottom of the pan. It means that the sauce is already hot. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and transfer it to a big bowl. Okay, so don't worry if it looks soupy and liquidy. Okay, later on, all the soup and all the cream will be absorbed beautifully by your pasta. Okay. Now I'm ready to plate. The, the pasta will absorb the sauce eventually. Okay, so it will look like this. So let's taste it. Mm. Good. You can also add shrimp or mushroom here going to be so delicious with shrimp. We ordered pizza. Perfect combination. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you request more dishes you can just put it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.